Now in this video we're going to show you how to set the head timing on the machine. Uh, this may happen if you've had a crash or something strange has happened. But let's start by removing some of the covers. OK, now first we'll remove this blue cover on the right. Now I've got the machine on needle 1. Uh, this is mainly for video purposes. Uh, you may not be able to be on needle 1, but at least with this video you'll be able to see what it is you're trying to do. So we just need to open up this little cover, so we loosen off the two screws and then we can flip this up and just nip up that little screw there. Okay. This allows us to put a box banner into the end so that we can turn the top shaft over. So we need to go into the service screen, go to my test machine attachment and then near the bottom here it will tell us the angle that the machine is at at the moment. So I'm just going to put that bigger on screen. Then using the, the box spanner in the end there, I'm going to turn the shaft over. And for the machine we have here, the angle we want to be at is 136. And I'm going to take the pin provided with the machine and put this in the side of the machine. So we're going to through this hole here. Now if your head timing is out, it won't be at 136, but it hopefully it will be somewhere close to that. And you can rock the shaft backwards and forwards until it just drops in and you can't turn the shaft in either direction. Now, if once you've got the pin into the machine, it needs to be into the metal cam at the back here. Now, if when the pin is in, the machine is not reading the correct number in this machine, it's 136, then we need to make an adjustment. So we'll take our 4 mil Allen key and loosen the black screw on this black collar here. Okay, and hold on to it. And then turn your tool at the end of the machine so the machine reads 136 and hold it there and then tighten up that screw. Now you're okay if it's a couple out, say if it's 136.1 or 159.9 um, but as close as you can. And then once you've got the screw nice and tight then we can remove the pin and that's the head. Now correct we can put it back together. Pop this blue cover back on. Now please be aware if you have had an incident where the head timing is thrown out, it may be worth checking that the hook timing is correct as well. But you can try embroidering first, see if it works. But if you have got more problems, then I'll definitely look at probably checking your hook timing after this. Now depending on where you left the machine off, it may be a different number to this. It doesn't matter too much. We just go back to the main screen. And we just push needle down and needle back up. And that will set the machine back to its home position. And that's the head timing complete. <laughs> 